What do I want? Thanks. Tell me, Fridge. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything. Hello, guys, it's Connor, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a What I Eat in a Week. Filming what I eat in a week's are very, not hard obviously because all you have to do is film what you're eating but just to remember to try and film every single thing especially when I eat the same thing 99% of the time. I don't show you absolutely everything, I try and show you all the main meals but pretty much for snacks most days I will have carrot and hummus, I will have frozen blueberries so if there's days where it seems like all I ate was breakfast, lunch and dinner I definitely would have snacked on carrot and hummus in between, I drink lots of coffees. I try not to have more than two caffeinated coffees a day. I just didn't want to have every single snack be, oh, here's me eating carrot and hummus. Again, I think I missed a couple meals, um, like towards the end of the week. So I'm sorry about that. But pretty much everything that's in this video is a very accurate representation of what I'm eating at the moment. Lots of salads, um, pizza, pancakes, eggs, just my usual type of thing. Lots of volume eating, veggies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give a little intro. I don't track, I measure some things when it's like a specific recipe, like smoothies and pancakes mainly, just so I can get the quantities right. But as for tracking, I'm not really doing that at the moment. So I kind of want to soon, maybe in the new year, um, just to do a little cut and see what I can do there. I spoke about this in my fitness routine, if you haven't seen that. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into the video. Imagine if I could do this all in one take. I don't think that's going to be a reality, but let's just give it a go. So starting off the first breakfast, I think I'm making a smoothie here. I'm pretty sure. So basically with my smoothies, I like to combine a bunch of frozen banana and then some frozen cauliflower, kind of like half and half, maybe about like 85 grams. Um, I just like measuring it because I get it the same way every time. And then I just add a little bit of yogurt. And then for my protein today, I'm using the macro mic protein and then I usually like just using a spoon I usually like to have toast with my smoothies I feel like the combination is just out of this world usually I do have avocado but we didn't have it we <laughs> it's literally me living by myself I didn't have any avocado today so I just went with some Vegemite on toast and then a little while later I just chucked out my salmon to defrost because I'm gonna have that for dinner or lunch can't remember um, and then I'm just making a coffee this one's decaf not too bad. I did have coffee this morning, so. For a snack, I was getting a bunch of content done today, hence why I'm all dolled up, but I love hummus and veggies, hence the um, one kilo tub of hummus I've got there. So I'm just snacking on that. Getting out carrot and hummus with sriracha is so good. Highly recommend. I freaking love sriracha. I put it on everything. I love how I'm just standing there. <laughs> Um, and then I'm filling up my water bottle because I drink a lot of water throughout the day. And then I believe this is kind of like my late lunch slash, oh, just got an email. Um, yeah, kind of like a late lunch because I was just getting so much done. So I think I'm making pizza today. No, definitely not pizza. I'm making kind of like, I think it's just like a veggie medley. I just love, you'll see a theme in this video of me chucking so many vegetables in the pan and then I pick a source of protein and those are usually my meals. Um, we love high volume meals in this household. Yeah, I usually season things with like salt and pepper. Um, I did buy this like vegan ranch seasoning it's not in this video but it's really good um and i also love the nando's perinase sauce so this is kind of like a snack slash lunch slash okay now i'm speaking okay it is now dinner time it is like 6 20 i've had a pretty darn productive day <laughs> charlie's looking at me hello i was about to just make pizza but i was like connor you have that all the time but how much i love this top so it's from stacks so just comfy. So I've got some salmon that I will pop in the air fryer. See, I would make the salmon rice bowl, but I don't have any seaweed. Let me just, oh, that's what I need to do, pick the hello fresh. I wrap it in uh, aluminium and then I put it in the air fryer and then I cook it for like 12 minutes. It just depends how you like. <laughs> Shush. Chuck that in the air fryer. Some 
green beans. Okay, and then once everything was all cooked, I just added it to a bowl and then I'm going in with some tamari sauce, which is kind of just like a soy sauce, and then more sriracha and then popping my salmon on top. This was actually so good. That is going to be my dinner. Switching it up, you know? I've been eating a lot of salmon lately, actually. For breakfast today, I am making my pancakes. I love that you guys are still obsessed with my pancakes. I get probably at least one person tagging me in a recipe every day on Instagram, which is so crazy. The recipe that I kind of do now is slightly different to the one on Instagram. I like to add kind of similar to my smoothies. I will add a bit of cauliflower and banana. Um, I'll try and leave some of the recipes down below, the ones that like require specific measurements if that makes sense so as you can see they come out so nicely most of the time every now and then i'll have a day where they just they just don't want to work um but yeah i'm not going to go through this too much because i'm sure you've seen it many times so for lunch today i am making pizza which is also one of my favorite kind of savory meals so i use the Woolworths high protein low carb pizza bases they're so so good i like crisping them up in the oven prior just a little bit just so they don't get too soggy and then i usually go for some pizza sauce zucchini spinach mushroom um some red capsicum ham that's usually what i do and then i love putting like pumpkin on my pizza don't know why tastes really good and there's some onion on there as well um and then i chuck it in the oven for about 12 15 minutes chop her up and that's that's my pizza it's so easy. This flies everywhere at the moment because it's so hot. It's so easy and so delicious. Um, and then before the gym, I was snacking on some blueberries. <laughs> and then for dinner, I pretty much had the same thing as the previous night. But instead of salmon, I had, I think, just like egg that I kind of chop up. So it's like a veggie fried rice with egg situation. And it's really good. I feel stuck here in the middle. Am I one of those crazy people? I really don't know what I want for breakfast today. I've really been switching it up between my like <laughs> pancakes or eggs, but I've got no avocado and I would have a smoothie and avocado on toast, but I don't have avocado. 7.46. What do I want? Eggs. Tell me fridge. Or oh, pancakes. Although I don't think I have enough oats. A smoothie with Vegemite on toast? I ended up deciding to make a smoothie because it is getting warmer, so I'm having a lot more smoothies. So we're going in with my cauliflower, almond milk, ice, um, a bit of banana as well. And then I use the YoPro protein yogurt. It's really, really delicious. And then today I'm using the My Protein Impact Whey in salted caramel. It's so good. I really, really love their proteins. And then again, I'm just having some Vegemite on toast because I hadn't bought any avocado this week yet. I always find these so hard to open it's because I overfill it like there's no tomorrow. But look how much smoothie that is how good i hate drinking smoothies that are like tiny i'm like no i want an entire liter of a smoothie and then avo not avo vegemite on toast is always a banger and then she's back on the veggies and hummus i am addicted to hummus at the moment it is just so so good um for lunch today we're getting out the salmon it's so easy to cook it this way literally wrap it in tin foil and put it in the air fryer and it comes out so beautifully cooked every single time i don't actually know what i'm making oh that's right the salad <laughs> this was actually really good so you guys probably have seen my giant salads it's kind of like that so i get a heap of lettuce and then i actually made like a lemon juice sriracha italian dressing i just kind of got whatever was in my fridge and it was really tasty again just popped some veggies in the pan mixing it all in getting that volume in and just the salmon on top super quick and easy and it was really really delicious and then as a snack again i'm having a bunch of veggies and those like super locale noodles by Mr. Chang's, I think. They're in like the Asian food section and they're just like the best for 
adding volume. Okay, and then for dinner, I had some GYG. I probably have this about once a week and my order is usually a barramundi bowl with no cheese and I add lettuce and I'm pretty sure I added the shredded mushroom to this as well because I think that's new, but it was really good. Um, and then for Friday breakfast, I had some pancakes, of course just make those they're just always a hit i always enjoy these i don't think i'll ever get sick of them honestly they are the best okay and then i work a lot with hellofresh on instagram so for lunch and dinner i made this like chicken schnitzel and rainbow slaw with sweet potato dish it was so simple but wow this was incredible i really need to make it again it was so so good That is my what I eat in a week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys really, really like the what I eat in a week because it's a little bit more diverse than a what I eat in a day. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.